Hi guys, look at this. This is one week's worth of junk mail. This is crazy. And this is after I've put a no junk mail sign on my mailbox because we were just getting way too much. I just couldn't use it all. So imagine how much I would have got if I didn't have the sticker there. Anyway, they just choose to ignore it. They still shove it in there. Um, anyway, so um, I usually use this as drop papers, um, oh, anything, envelopes, ephemera, you name it. Um, I try and use as much junk mail as I can, but um, there's just too much. It's impossible to use it all up impossible anyway so i did do a video um a couple of weeks ago making some uh junk mail ephemera just out of junk mail but i don't know what i did <laughs> i don't know if i've deleted the video or what i can't find it anyway i think i've deleted it by mistake while i was cleaning out my phone anyway so i thought i'll do a super quick little video um Sorry, I'm trying to see if the light on is better or not. Nope. Excuse. <laughs> Excuse my mess. <laughs> I've just finished making a journal. And when I finish making a journal, I need to have like a full desk clean up. I already had a messy desk to start with, but it's out of control. Anyway. Excuse my dirty <laughs> mat as well. Anyway, so I did do a video showing, you know, making some stuff with you, but... But then, I don't know, I've lost it. So I thought I'd pop on and just show you anyway. So let me just take a step back. Some of the junk mail, Woolworths is good. This is nice and matte. I really love this paper because it's not glossy. Um, but, you know, they have some cute little, some cute little Christmas, like, that's cute. I would, I would totally use that. Some of it's boring. Actually, most of it's boring. But the strawberries, <laughs> I always cut the strawberries out. Um, some of them have some really cute stuff. I think this one had some. This is another Woolworths one. Why they need... Actually, this might be some from the previous week. Oh, no, this is just this week. Um... I think their bakery section always has the nicest junk mail. Oh, not this one though. Obviously not. Usually I like the things like the cookies and the cakes and that for Christmas. This is Christmas junk mail. Nope, nope. Nothing exciting. Let's see this one. Oh, this one looks like it might be a little more exciting. Or worse again. Jeez, Woolies, you're really pumping out the junk mail these days. Nope, nope, nothing that I want. Oh, these could be cute. I could use um something like this. It's got some nice little... Is it Waddle? I think it's Waddle down there or something. Maybe those. Oh, okay. See, I'd definitely use this page. I'd make maybe an envelope out of that. And this as well. That's cute. Maybe this. But, you know, it's got some nice writing script writing for Christmas and stuff like that. Anyway, let me chuck that aside. So what I made the other day, I just grabbed a pile of junk mail and I thought I'm just going to use just junk, nothing else. So let's see. Some of it's really junky. This was one page of um, bakery. I can't remember if it was Coles or Woolies or something, but it was a really pretty page. And, um, I wish I hadn't have lost the video to show you, but I chopped that one page up into three. Um, 
you'll see that it's quite thick because <laughs> what I've kind of done, I just used the whole booklet. So if the little booklet is thin enough like this, I will just um, <laughs> fold the page wherever I want it. And I would just sew multiple pages together. Some of them I don't even glue because I'm sewing them. And I sew over the edges so that, um, you know, none of the paper comes up. If you don't know what I mean, I did a little video. Um, I'll put the link in the comments box below. But pretty much you just do a zigzag stitch. And instead of um, both stitches going through the paper, only one goes through the paper, the other goes over the edge. So it kind of, it's like a fake overlocker, <laughs> I suppose. Anyway, look how cute that one is. Just a little journaling card. On the back of it, you'll see this is just the back of an envelope. Like a, you know, used envelope that came in the mail. Uh, this was another part of that same page. So inside you'll see the other part. I don't mind if there's the prices and writing and stuff like that. It's junk mail ephemera. These are cookies. <laughs> I think it looks really cute. So that's the other one. This one's cute. Look. Little kookaburra. So I made, just out of that one page, two journaling cards and one little booklet. So you'll see I just used um, the envelopes. I don't know if bills or something came in them. But just the used envelopes as little pages. Um, I just stitched straight down the centre with my sewing machine. So those... This was a Woolies um, catalog as well, I think. The paper's matte. It's really nice. Actually, I think this was in the same one as this. Oop, low battery, rookie error. Let me <laughs> Sorry. I'm just going to quickly stop and plug my phone. So you can't see what I'm doing. Probably shaking you about everywhere now, have I? So this one, same thing, it's multiple pages, uh, no gluing, I've just sewn around the edges. But this was a bakery one as well. I've left that there, Christmas Bakery. I think it looks really cute. Um, I've just put uh, some paper down there off an envelope. Actually, no, this wasn't an envelope. It was um, junk mail, like one-sided junk mail. You know where, where is one? You know, you might get a one-page flyer where on the back it's um, blank. Can't remember what it was. Um, and I've just put a little piece down there. Made a little pocket so that, I don't know, you can, you know, tuck something into it. I need to make a tag or a little something to put into it. I really love the I, I really love these ones. I think they're so cute. What else? It's another one out of the bakery section. <laughs> As you can see, I think the bakery section always has the cutest little Christmas stuff. Um this was a piece of that junk mail. So it's blank. Use it as a little uh, journaling card. This, um, oh, I can't remember what this was off. That's quite, quite thick. Um, it was junk mail, but I can't remember what it was for. But um, it was a flyer about that wide. I just chopped it in half. Um, had the company name down there. Can't remember who. Um, and I've just made a super long tag um, that I could make a long skinny pocket to pop it in or use it as a bookmark. And on the back I've stuck another piece of junk mail. Um, it does have that kind of children's scribble um, picture on it, but 
well, you can still write over in that black. This little thing, <laughs> isn't a pretty little picture? Um, I don't know, this was some sort of catering brochure. This was down the bottom of the brochure. So I just made it into a little notebook. I've left that in there because I like to see what things were in the prior life. And I've just put the little bits of um, junk mail papers I think this was off some bank form or something junk mail papers this was the wine section and another bit of blank blank area somewhere in the magazine that I've cut off stitched it on this is an Audi catalog I thought the blueberries looks really super cute. Cool. If you don't like the glossy as well, you can just um, go over it with a matte um, medium or clear gesso or something. But it's junk mail. I mean, you don't want to spend too much time. I did um, I did crinkle this one though when I sewed it. It gathered at one end. Um, I left that there. It's got true blue. Um, if you're Aussie, you know, true blue means Aussie Aussie. <laughs> um, and I've left the price on the inside and I've just put, I um, can't remember, this was a real estate, uh, back of a real estate junk mail thingy, just as a little writing space. And do you know what? I really love junk mail when um, you use it for, for tags and pockets and use it in your junk mails to make true junk journals. <laughs> Um, I love seeing the prices and stuff because you know now how we like um, advertisements from like the 30s, 40s, 50s, even the 60s and 70s um, ads look cool. Um, if you have this sort of stuff in your journal, just think about, well, what's going to happen with your journal when you die <laughs> one day? Um, is it going to go to your kids and grandkids or great grandkids? And they will look back, you know, and say, oh, wow, 125 gram pack of blueberries were only $1.99 back then in 2020. Now they're $200. This one's really junky. This was a whole little booklet, thin little booklet. And I've just folded it to make a double decker pocket. I've sewn the edge there, but... Don't know what I've done. I probably didn't. I, I didn't fold it properly. So when I've sewn it, it's missed a little bit. But I'll just put a little bit of glue on that bit. And just need to make a little tag to go there and one there. Anyway, that's my junky, junky, junk mail ephemera i really love this and these if you find the bakery ones grab those because they they make the cutest um anyway that's it <laughs> bye